Hi, today I am going to make kalam beans, a very unusual and very pretty flower. Material required are grey paper in white and green, green floral tape, orange color, acrylic color, yellow color, small pips, small heads, and white color, slightly bigger heads, pips. And then you need a thick wire, some thin wire. And I'm using liquid color like for instance this is ink and this is a silk paint so basically you need some liquid form of color not watery the stencils are given at the end of video take the white headed pips and measure them out on the scale about 4 cm long and cut them Then take some orange color, acrylic color and paint the pip orange in color. So we need five of these for one flower like this. Take these drop shape petals and I have taken silk colors, you can always use ink or uh, any liquid color which doesn't need to have water in it so just dip half of it like this and then put it to dry just like this on both sides and the color will if you can notice if you can see it will travel up on its own and you want to leave a border of white on the top so just color it like this and leave it to dry and color all the five petals like this take the sepals Hold them by a tweezer because you don't want to dirty your hand and just dip the entire sepal in the color. And leave it to dry. So do this with all the five sepals. color them like this take a few strips of uh, white gray paper about half a centimeter wide and as long as that is required and color this also in the same way as we did for the sepal entirely in blue or whichever color you're making the fly in, and leave this to dry This is how all the pieces would look, the petals, the sepals and the strips that are required and I am going to leave them to dry. Take the yellow pips and cut them in half, the whole bunch. Like this. And take the thick wire. Hold the pips right on top and I have cut a small piece about one inch long piece of thin wire so just wind that on the pip space like this the sepals have dried the color 
So now just apply glue on the base of the sepal. And stick this on the stamen. Then take the next one. Now overlap the first about halfway and then just stick it. So stick all the five sepals like this. This is how it will look. Now take the green tape. Cut out about 7-8 uh, inches long piece from it. Stretch it. And wind this from the base of the sepals on the thick wire. Take a strip of uh, white crepe, about half a centimeter wide, stretch it. Now take the orange colored pip that we colored earlier. Apply some glue on the strip. And wind this about halfway on the pip. till the end, till this side. Just take the end, and clear off the excess. So you have a slightly conical shape on the pip. Now take the petal, stretch it a bit to smoothen out the ruffled effect that we have and then apply glue on one side stick the pip put the pip in the center of the petal on the lower side fold the side with no glue on it and then stick the other side over it will become a funnel shape Open out the petal using a brush base or a pencil base like this. This is what it will look like. So do this with all the petals. Now take the strips that we painted, stretch them and then apply glue on them. And wind this from the base of the petal till the end of the tube, just above the orange colored uh, head. And this is how it will look. So we will do the rest of the petals in the same manner. Now take each petal, hold the top part and gently just stretch it and while you are stretching just curl it outwards like this, so it opens up. like that. So do this with the others also in the same manner just 
open it out like this so I'll do the rest of them also now take one petal apply glue at the point where the wire starts like this then take the base the sepals and between two sepals just push down the sepals a bit and then stick this on the center just slightly below the stamen and while you're holding the petal just shape the sepals too so that it doesn't stick on it and sticks on the base this is how it will look so I'll stick the next one take a petal light blue pull down the sepal a bit and stick the petal like this and you have to shape the sepal each time you stick one petal so stick the other three in the same manner And this is how the flower would look. Now just open out each sepal. Just shape it a bit. Stretch it. So it becomes flat and horizontal. And at the base it will look like this. The flower. Now just hold the flower properly and shape the spurs and this is how it will look for the leaf First apply glue on the base and then take about a 3 inch long thin wire, put it on the base and then roll it up. Now take some green tape Stretch it Unwind this from the base of the leaf till the end Now take two leaves and attach it to the longer one. So just like put it like this. And wind the green tape on it. how the leaf would look just open it out what will it look like now take the flower 
and put the leaf about 5 inches below the flower. So start winding some green tape. And take the leaf and attach it to the stem. Open the leaf out like this, it will be almost horizontal and then bend the wire at the base of the flower in one direction and this is how your flower would look. All the measurements are in centimeter. This is a stencil of a petal. This is 4 centimeter long and 2.5 centimeter wide. Cut 5 pieces per flower. This is of a sepal. This is 5 centimeter high by 2.5 centimeter wide. Cut 5 pieces per flower. This is for the leaf. This is 6.5 centimeter high and 5.5 centimeter wide. The stem is 1 centimeter high and cut as many as you want.